Hello and welcome back to this Homeland Security Special Edition. Today we'll be looking at UAVs for espionage and reconnaissance missions. Autonomous Unmanned Vehicles, or UAVs, are sent to complex and faraway espionage and reconnaissance missions, thereby avoiding the high risks posed to manned missions. This special IHLS edition will shed some light, as far as is allowed to divulge, about the special intelligence ops UAVs undertake. Just recently, it was cleared for publication that the Super Heron UAV, developed and produced by IAI, is equipped with an especially powerful engine that led to a staggering upgrade of its operational capabilities, reaching the speed of 100 knots. The Super Heron's unique airborne systems, complete with its diverse payloads, have made a critical intelligence tool in the framework of the complex systems and arenas Israel is facing vis-a-vis -vis Iran and others throughout the Middle East and Africa. With its wingspan of 70 meters and amazing flight capabilities, including endurance of up to 45 hours and maximal altitude of 30,000 feet and a takeoff weight of nearly half a ton, we leave it to your imagination to figure out the kind of advantages this weapon provides the army operating it. UAVs defend borders and strategic sites, such as ports, rigs, nuclear reactors and many more, using accurate combat weapons, as well as generating quality real-type intelligence. UAVs are designed for long-distance intelligence missions and feature autonomous command, control and navigation, as well as their ability to store the data they gather rather than transmit it directly. All this makes for a very low electromagnetic signature and lowers the potential they might be traced and detected by airborne monitoring systems. UAVs are further harder to detect as their airborne computer systems are pre-programmed with their course, the exact timing of the reconnaissance devices they carry, their departure and their eventual return. The current variety of UAVs offers an accurate tailoring for practically any mission, operation or scenario. Nowadays, miniature UAVs shadow field units, even at the company or battalion level, providing a clear, real-time image of the battlefield, thereby allowing both the commander in charge and headquarters the opportunity to spot an enemy ambush or a ground obstacle in plenty of time. UAVs designed for reconnaissance missions have varying flight radiuses and are therefore capable of delivering quality real-time intelligence about terrorist activities, army deployment, convoys or movements of single targets, such as leaders, as well as detecting missile batteries, intercepting civilian and military communications and are able to identify unconventional weapons, atomic, biological or chemical. The Heron 1 has a main opponent, the Elbitz Hermes 900, whose flight capabilities are also pretty impressive. The Hermes has a variety of payloads, one of which is a DF, a direction finder, which enables monitoring of selected transmissions. Another payload is a cellular phone surveillance and location system capable of monitoring, recording and transmitting GSM phone communications. Other Hermes 900 payloads include satellite phones, surveillance devices and a variety of jammers that can manage predefined threat lists and jamming priorities. Well, that's it for this week's IHLS Special Edition. We hope very much to see you at our next week's news bulletin. Thanks for watching. Until next time.